And something which you told me when <coughs> we were <coughs> offset, which amazed me, was the fact that in Asia and perhaps in England, there's this uh, myth that Mesut Ozil mm. is one of the best creative midfielders in the world. Mm. But in Germany, that's not the case. No. No, it's a big discussion about him every every game, every big tournament. Uh, I remember we were talking about him uh, in 2014 because he was not playing that well. You have some people who are saying, especially um, his, his, the way he plays, his moving, um, how he's reacted to certain uh, circumstances. So it's always a big discussion in Germany. And I know worldwide everybody's talking about it. In our country, it's, 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 it's the most... Uh, this, he is the player who you're talking most about, should he play or not. And is that I, th I think it's because the potential he has. Yeah, He's exactly. such a great player when he obviously is, is playing well that people want him to do that all the time. And like, like Christian said, I think his body language lets, lets him down a lot of the time. Mm. Because it seems like he doesn't want to be there, like he's not making the effort. Like, he's not really suffering if the team is not doing well. But you expect him to be... That's what I was watching the, mayor. the game. I said, why is he so far off the box? You want him there again. These players, you want them there to give the last pass, to score a goal, to, 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 to do create something. something. Yeah. So even if it's not Not being day. like uh, 50 meters from the goal, because... Exactly, this is a discussion when I was uh, last week in a, in a German TV show, and I was exactly... Because everybody's saying you have so much... Potential, you're so mm. such such a talent. Mm. And you, you you just don't see it. Mm. Sometimes you see it. Sometimes you see it. If you go in the league, in the Premier League, Arsenal, he's doing well. Yeah. But then for three weeks you don't see him at all. Body language. If 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 everything is not going yeah. his way, he's like, oh, now I have to fight. And it's like this is a big discussion all the well, time. Mourinho made, made him cry in Real Madrid. Yeah, because I, he was expecting so much of him. He wanted to get so much out of him that he made him cry in a half time in one wow. match. Uh, which, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Madrid. That's an unbelievable fact. Yeah, yeah. But then again... Obviously, he was, Mourinho was trying to, to motivate him, to, to get a reaction out of him, to say, come on, guy, you, you, you're very good. You, you have to play better. But he took it the wrong way. <laughs> I wonder what he would have done if Sir Alex Ferguson was his manager with the head right treatment. Uh, is it disappointing yeah. to see a player, you know, no, uh, respond I think that way? I, I, it hurts me. It hurts me if I see a player with this quality, mm. and 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 then, then you see he's not, you know, I don't know, he's not really up in in, in in certain stages for this game. Like with this quality, not get me the ball. I want to do something, or if I give me the ball again, um, it hurts because so much quality, and then it's just uh, maybe he's playing good today, or maybe not. Mm. Yeah.